Talk to me. Um, I think she got in a little too fast, too quick, and and now and she thought she could do it like under the rug, but it's like, girl, like you know, at your level, you on TV, like you can't, you have to have these open conversations with your partner because it's not just you. I'll tell you what Everybody I mean. Everybody trying to be monogamous, that's the mistake. They try to be what? They try to be monogamous. They try to just be, in, you know, like somebody who. Not well, I'm crazy. Them. I'm a Scorpio. I'm very possessive. Oh, so, baby, I'm not sharing. I don't want to share. It's not fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be mad, and that's gonna be a whole nother issue. Is it an in between buying game? I like to try stuff so I know that I don't like it, you know? I appreciate that. Yeah. I appreciate that. What can I say? I can give you a little bit of both, whatever you want, sure. But I'm gonna tell you, I definitely heard somebody say on uh, the show about you, like, that you had messed with a girl last night. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Well, some gay <laughs> dudes ain't even touched it before and they scared her, not me. Child, you scared of something you came out of. That don't make no sense. <laughs> your mama wiped her pussy on your forehead when you came into this world, so I don't know what you scared of vagina for. <laughs>right now i'm making an old-fashioned which is a classic drink um yeah you want a bourbon right yes okay yeah you give it a little class so old-fashioned is classic can't go wrong with an old-fashioned okay um put a little spin on i like to put a little cherry in there you know okay and then boom add it like that and then get a little straw because you a lady oh i am thank mm -hmm. you, there you I go. Appreciate i'm gonna join you but i'm gonna just do a little shot let's cheers okay yes uh -huh. cheers. it's your first time on set yes lord Ooh. Mm -hmm. all right you nervous no hopefully it won't be my legs okay so bondy blue right I'm new to the content creation thing. How do you get into that? Everybody's doing it. What sets you apart? I think what sets me apart is, first of all, I, I'm i an individual just in real life. Mm -hmm. Like, in real life, I don't know a lot of people like me. So, I know I'm going to splash in this area of people because everybody's generally doing the same thing. So, if you pop up already being an individual, that's half the battle. Also, I'm consistent. I'm very consistent. I've been doing this for a long time, and I enjoy what I How do. How long? Let the people know, girl. Since 2011. We like numbers. Okay, from okay. since 2011. But I used to work in a news business. I was okay. a photographer and an editor for a news station. So I was tired of all of the serious news. This was during the Trump era. I was exhausted, and I love reality TV for the mess of it. You get to just watch <laughs> your brain go dead. You get a little key, you know, kiki, and then it's over. Amen. It's not, you know, nobody's life is, you know, destroyed because of it. But the more I've gotten into it, the more I've realized all of the shows are like mic microcosms for where we are in life, period. Like, everybody. So, now I, I like to look at reviewing shows on my content from the space of we grown, we live in life. This content needs to reflect that. So, I think because I've been consistent and grown and stay true to who I am in my mm -hmm. content, which is not easy to do, mm -hmm. girl. Okay? They'll try to throw you off. They will. And, mm -hmm. and clickbait and all of that. And I've never been that type of person. So, I had kind of like a slow, steady crawl up. But, you know, I'm here, B. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, that's it a lot. People respect the real. And I can agree and attest to that. Because <laughs> when I was doing candy in the gang, I was like, you know what? Am I gonna get the people what they want, or I'm just, or I'm gonna be torn? So, I mean, I could have did my thing and ignored you. <laughs> really, I feel very disrespected. Don't let the fine fool you, okay? Mm -hmm. And I would, what I found worked for me is just being torn, like being you, being real, authentically, not caring what people think. Point blank. You on the right track, I think. Thank Keep you. doing your thing. Boo. I think you want right to write your Emma. Song. Yes. I need to make my way to you know these events down here that you're throwing. Yes. Okay. Yes. I need to come through. Yes, I am the premier event traveling event planner. So I travel. Okay. <laughs> Wherever you are, I come to you. And I also do interior decorating. So I can get your house together, get your party together. I just Bring the vibe, whatever. Okay, so did you get the, the little cousin, the little nephew? Did you get his place together, his girlfriend? His oh, child, Patrick. Uh, Patrick. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Welcome. No need to fear. Torn is here. Oh, I like that. 
first things first, when you see that tool belt, you know I'm going to work. No, the funds then the funds then clear. Okay. So <laughs> so okay. we didn't do that. You know, understand. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I backed out on that one. Um yeah, when there's money I'll be able, I'll be around. So do you do like do you have your social media that shows? Of course. Okay. Um official torn dot Mitchell. Um, is where you can find me on Instagram. My website is currently under construction right now. Um, when I first came on my website, it was all like, oh, this is Torin, this is who I am, whatever. But now it's about the coins. Baby, this is how you can click and book and pay. Okay? So that's how we work it. We working it out. Speaking of coin. Yes, go on. Because I heard you say, you know, you do a whole bunch of different things. Can you list all of the jobs? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, first, I'm a hospitality professional. Okay. All right, honey. Okay. I've always had great taste, point blank. <laughs> I've been doing event planning for 12 years. When I previously worked at Old Lady Gang, I was doing their Friday Night Live. Friday Night Lives were really awesome, right? They were amazing. Let's make it look like a party. All right, that's what it's gonna be. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look at all these faces. <laughs> A blast from the past. Oh, hold on, wait. I am rebranding Friday Night Live to now Friday Night Vibe. Okay. Okay? The first one I want to make kind of like more so Studio 54. It's a 70s theme. You're going to get a little sprinkle of 70s. You're going to get a fro here. You're going to get a let you slide here. Was that the 70s? The let you slide? To the party Friday Night Vibe. I do work at Old Lady Gang still. Yes, that ain't for sh TV, for okay. show. The That's real. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually the events manager uh, during the week when we don't have events. I'm front of the house part time because my business is booming blessfully. Thank you. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Keep booking. Okay. Um, so, yeah, doing that um, at Old Lady Gang. I'm doing my events. I'm actually traveling. Um, I have been all up the east side from New York, Detroit. Uh, Texas doing events um, and I'm also traveling for interior design as well like I'm in Mississippi I have a big 4,000 square foot project out there commercial okay. yeah like I'm doing it people think I'm just throwing parties but I'm really doing this you I hear uh -huh. <laughs> girl you do booties okay I do bedrooms yeah thank oh you. I love to hear it yeah so are you gonna add sex toy line oh to the my repertoire? god because girl do not the one thing I did remember is they was like, you know, they was like, it was somewhere. Brian has said that the two of you used to date. <laughs> that may be true. This is torn. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> You know, they, you know, and that's what we had heard. And, yeah. you know, based on conversations we've had about how the girls and the guys be all over you, baby, I'm just trying to understand, are you going to give them something they can purchase? Mm. Well, let's let's clear this up. Um, the rumors are true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the rumors are true. Um, I would have to consult with my mom. Because I really, you know, I just don't want to have her out here looking crazy. Um, if she say okay, which I think she would, uh, we're okay. going to go with it. Girl, I'm about to coin. Girl, you got you to do what Coco did. You know, Coco just what bought Coco my mama did? a car. And she was all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that. Okay. I, I think I'm going to do that. I, th I can't believe I said I'm going to ask my mama about if I can <laughs> sell a sex toy. <laughs> well, but mama, I love you, girl. See, I think about you. Okay, to answer your question, yes. The rumors okay. are true, and I would sell it. We look at, listen, Would we're you talking about buy my mold. deal, though? Would I? You saw me? Yeah. I, no, I was asking the viewers. Oh, all right. I'm no, saying, no, girl. Like, I'm not asking you, girl. I was asking you I was going to buy it. I was, you know, and I mean, no. we're talking about the cast version. We're not talking about the real one. I'm not going to pay for the dick. You could hear a pin drop, okay? I, I, I did that. I, I did that. that. <laughs> I did that. Would but you I, buy it? <laughs> 
I look. I will buy the foreign sex toy for you. Ask. I'm gonna throw it back at you. I, I, would, I, would, I would buy it for a friend. This is a great bachelorette because you don't know when his thing gonna be tired. So here you here you go, friend. Here you go, something. All right, and get together. the reviews, and you'll do a review based a on review. her. Okay, got gotcha. you. Thank you. We can collab. Listen, because I, I love a good sex toy. <laughs> Me too. Okay, look. Shout out to Candy and him. Me All too. Right. You know, I think a lot of men. Well, you know what? Times done changed. Men, you know, men using sex toys now. I have a few things from the line, too. Um, I like her body butters and scrubs. Mm -hmm. I've had the sleeve, but it's too small for me, Candy. Boom. You need um, a bigger sleeve, Candy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Candy. Who, who you make that for? Those of you that are just blessed to be in the six-inch <laughs> range. Okay, it's cute. We appreciate y'all for y'all serving. Girl, we don't want the sex toys. We having a little too many. Oh. You, you just bought like third drink. This show it ain't started, has it? Content creation. What else are you doing out here? Oh my God. What do you want to do? I'm doing what I want to do. I get I up every it. day and do whatever I want to do for money. Mm -hmm. Like, it's the best thing in life. It is. And honestly, like, being here is the moment where it's like everything's finally like coming to fruition after I've been putting in work for over a decade now. Mm hmm. Um, so for me, I'm I'm great. Like, you know, I mean, I don't have my ring on because I don't be wearing it like that because I lost weight and it'll fall off my finger. And that's, I, oh, that's what you're saying? Uh, no, it's true. Oh, okay. No, because when I used to work at the news station and my rings were passed down. They were the rings my father gave to my mother. Got so it. my husband, we got married by the same preacher that married my parents. So, and my dad had died before I got married. So that was one of the things that kind of gave us the connection. So as I lost weight over the years, it got loose. One day I was shooting and we're on the levee. It's about to be a storm. Of What's morning. the levee? Well, in New Orleans. Let them know. In Baby. New Orleans, girl, they build levees to keep the water from flooding the people property, but the, the people property still get flooded. But either way, girl, I was out there <laughs> on the 17th Street Canal, and the, I mean, out of nowhere, it went from sunny to pouring down raining, and I'm trying to hurry up and get all my gear, and I lose my wedding band. And that was the one, like, that was the original one that my dad gave to my mom. Oh, so we no. had to go and get it replaced. So after that, I would stop wearing them unless me and my husband were going somewhere together. Right. And I know I'm just going to be, like, so when I'm working or traveling, I don't go and hurry up and pick it up because I would hate to lose it again. That broke my heart. Mm -hmm. So I don't wear it. But, no, I've been married for six years and been Ugh, with my dude for 13. The life, budding career, great relationship. Two cute little just dogs. Okay. Too perfect. Where, where's the drama? Oh. The yeah. reality TV that you no, watch. No, listen. <laughs> Well, first of all, there, there's drama because, you know, we grown and stuff. Yeah. And, you know, yeah, we grown. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, I'm bisexual. Okay. And, you know, my husband is very... Um, cool with it. Yes. He, he's, he allows me to be who I am. I like that. And that's why we... Y'all doing... Yeah. So are you getting the pass or are you guys together? <laughs> Oh no, we're together. Okay. Y'all just do it together. Oh no, no, we, no, 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 we haven't done anything together okay. as of yet. But my, my, you know, my situation mm -hmm. is. Open. open in the open. Yeah. yeah, that's what people go wrong when they don't d discuss it. Yeah. As we can see. Mm. Mm. I, I guess you'll get into that a little later. But <laughs> I'm trying to figure out Drew, Ralph, what type of name? Like what? that ain't my show. Ty, but <laughs> I'm here, Ty, talk to me. Um, I think she got in a little too fast, too quick, mm -hmm. and and now and she thought she could do it like under the rug, but it's like, girl, like you know, at your level, you on TV, like you can't, you have to have these open conversations with your partner because it's not just you. Mm -hmm. Um, and bringing another party in, like even if you are interested mm -hmm. in the opposite sex, that should be communicated in the bedroom, cause girl, I don't even know if I'm satisfying you no more. Like we need to have these conversations. Yes. You know, if that's what you like, maybe I can put something on the TV while something. You know. Like, so I'm still in tune. But, yeah. yeah. Know. You know what they say? What? They say that girl on girl porn is the most watched by, you know, straight women. Uh, you know what? I believe that. I do too, girl. I believe that. Is that okay? It, that's fine. Okay, what that's a, fine. Yeah, we, we kick all right. in. Just, yeah, all right. Just like that. We kick I, in. I believe that. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's an easy transition. Mm -hmm. Versus the, you know, yes. it's real soft. <laughs> it's real soft, you know? So it's a nice transition into something 
taboo, if you will. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel like Drew's always been there, and I feel like. I but feel you like, know, she got she got the the mom. I, was she raised in the church? She got the very spiritual oh, mother, yes, all of that. Why. So you on this platform, she kind of like, no, I never kissed the girl. It's like, girl, girl, the repressed. It's twenty twenty three. The repressed lesbians. Oh my god. Okay, it's. I ain't gonna say she lesbian. Baby. She may be curious, but girl, just say you're curious. Don't say I you don't ain't did curious. it. I think she she's done it and she likes it. That's what I think. And T vibes is not gonna confuse me. I know what I'm looking Ooh. at. <laughs> not the real T Vibes, <laughs> y'all. But ever since Drew played T Vibes, I was seen, like, right. that lady like ladies. Okay. And now that we didn't pull up and you into Ty, girl, listen, stop playing with me. Ty, Ty is like, most girls who like girls would like Ty. You know what I'm saying? I mean, is Ty the only lesbian in the city? Cause in Atlanta. I don't see well, her. we can't mess with Melissa because we see how she get down. So we can't fool with her because, you know, she one of them old messy lesbians that wear mm. Stacey Adams shoes to fight people. So we can't fool with her. Who oh, is Melissa? <laughs> so, okay. Girl, Stacey Adams. Where have you seen? Okay, y'all saw the fight when Jocelyn got into that big old brawl at the Floyd Mayweather behind, fight. Yes, behind. well, Melissa was her lesbian homegirl who's also on the show. Uh, that's, no, that's not Smoot. That's, that's another yeah, one. It's about, was, them. Yeah. it's about three of them. It's about three of them. They're rotating yeah. the city. But Melissa they was making also noise. Hip Hop Atlanta because she's friends with Jocelyn and Mimi and all of that. Mm. So she dated Mimi at one point. Yes. So yeah, but besides her, like I mean, Atlanta's a gay place, but I don't know. I don't be seeing a. Girl it's just like, like, girl, come home, okay? You know, come on home. We'll accept you with open arms. You know, even if you're curious, just come on. I just want everybody to be happy mm -hmm. and to love each other. Mm -hmm. 